I mean, message to the fans is just thank you. Uh, look, I, I told you earlier this week, I came here. I had no expectations. I didn't think I was going to be here very long. <laughs> um, you know, I just a special teams player. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not the quarterback. I'm not catching the balls. I'm not out there uh, sacking the quarterback. Um, so to be embraced uh, by the fans and the community the way that my family and I have, it means a lot. Um, I thank them for that. I thank them for their endless support for our team. Uh, I thank them for challenging our team, uh, spurring us on. Um, you know, but to be embraced by this community and this fan base uh, has meant a great deal to myself and my family. So thank you. And then coach. I mean, without coach, I'm not standing up here talking to you. Um, like he took a chance on me. Uh, a lot of people when I got here thought I got drafted because of my dad. <laughs> um, so he took a chance on me and um, has taken a chance on me for 16 years. So I'm very grateful for that. And, you know, he's the best coach that's ever coached this game, in my opinion. So thankful for the, the 16 years that I've had with him. What was it like to see the whole team come out in those kind of sweatshirts in the warm-up to see, you know, them honor you like that? Yeah, it was... Meant a lot. Meant a lot. Um, I was blown away by it. So, um, look, I, I don't want it. You know, I never wanted anything about my experience here to be about me. So, it did make me a little bit uncomfortable. But um, to have the guys do that, I just, I'll never be able to put that into words as long as I live. So, it meant a lot to me. Um, for me, I look at, uh, life as a race. Uh, Paul talks about it in his writings. Um, you know, second Timothy four, seven says, uh, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I've kept the faith. And uh, I think to, to me, as you're running your race in life, uh, there's going to be some, some ups some downs. You're going to fall. You're going to fail. Um, you're going to succeed, but you just got to keep running that race. And no matter what the people around you may say, um, detractors or naysayers, uh, you keep running that race until you get to your finish line. And for, for these guys in that locker room, yeah, this was a part of the race where we fell. And, and we got to get up, and as an organization, we got to keep running, and we got to find um, a new path, a better path, and, and keep running that race. So. Again, I, I came here as a no-name guy, um, fringe player for a lot of my career. A lot of you guys said I was getting cut early on there. <laughs> I thought I was getting cut too. But uh, to, to have the fan base embrace me the way that they have and uh, appreciate what I do on the football field, appreciate what my teammates do on the football field is, is very, very humbling. Um, you know, just – it's hard to articulate, and, and I never thought, you know, when I came here in 2008, 22 years old, uh, so far from home, I never thought that I'd feel like this place was home for me. But 16 years later, it feels like home, and the fans are a big part of that, the way that they've embraced me and my family and uh, been so kind and generous to us. So, you know, like I was saying earlier uh, to Steve, I'm just very thankful um, for that, and it's something that I'll, I'll never take for granted. PNC Bank, rooted in communities big and small.